Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and to a brand new slaying shade. Typically with my slaying shades, I usually stick to one person. Um, today I'm going to be talking about something that went down like two days ago between Jackie Ina and Petty Page. I wanted to put my opinion out there um, and it was requested by a couple of you guys. So that's what I'll be doing today. I'm also going to be using the BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival Palette. I haven't used it on the channel before. I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but I think I might do a little like pink purple into maybe one of these like shimmery colors or something I'm not I'm not super sure yet we'll see what happens um I also went in with the BH liquid foundation the naturally flawless I am in the shade ivory beige I also went in with the pro concealer from BH I really really like this um I'm not sure what shade this is um, oh, number 100.5, so that seems to work well for me. I went in with a contour under my foundation, and I used the Koki Cosmetics Contour Palette. I tight-lined with the Maybelline Skinny Precise. Uh, let's see, what else did I do? Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Oh, I've been loving setting my eyes now, like after I put on a primer or if I use foundation. I have been loving just using a translucent powder rather than a skin tone type shade of shadow. So that's another thing that I've been doing. And I'm definitely going to put some powder under here because we're going to be using a bunch of colors and I'm pretty sure we're going to have a bit of fallout. Um... I really enjoy this palette. I'm going to try to use some of the shades I haven't really uh, used yet. There is some fallout. I mean, it doesn't bother me. They're powder. It's powder. It's it's eyeshadow. And you put it on a brush and you're going to get some fallout. But it's nothing insane. And um, I really enjoy it still. Okay. So to start at the beginning of this whole situation with Jackie and Paige, I'm going to take us back. I'm going to take us back to when Petty Page made her video on Jackie Ina. Um, that video I thought was really well done because I had watched the Jackie Ina video that she was doing her commentary on. And when you watch Jackie's video and then you watch Paige doing her commentary on it, she didn't really take anything that she said out of context. At least that I saw. I mean, I thought, I thought that she was, you know, just, um being quite fair, you know, to her. I know that um, Jackie obviously didn't feel the same way, and um, she did try, she did put a copyright strike on that video. So around that time, she said that she got hacked, that somebody got a hold of her email address, and uh, tried to charge um, $1,500. Well, as of right now, we don't even know if the transaction actually went through. But around that time, it was the same time that a lot of Yahoo and Gmail accounts were being um, hacked into. And um, what, what, it, what would happen is, is like somebody would put like a bot in there. So you would get flooded with all of these emails so you wouldn't be able to catch it if like your bank emailed you things like that so oh just so you know <laughs> when jackie tried to copy strike that video it didn't work and Paige got it back up so um so jackie puts out this video the other day um called I was scammed and hacked or I was hacked by a youtuber they you know stole from me all this stuff now, I watched this video with a very open mind. I am a fan of Jackie, at least I was. She was one of the few that still makes me laugh during videos, and I, I enjoy watching. Um, she is not without her flaws, but I mean, you know, we all have them. And I, I gen genuinely really liked her. Um, so she puts out this video, and she says that somebody got a hold of her email and and 
somehow because of that email address hacked into her bank information and attempted to or did charge $1,500. Now, she didn't like clarify if that charge went through or if somebody attempted to use it. So I believe that Jackie actually believes herself in this video. And I know she deleted it, but she goes on to say that the YouTuber that put, that she had put the copy, uh, copyright strike on, she didn't realize it at the time, but when you appeal it, YouTube gives you the information, the email address, things like that. So in her mind, she figured that since that was the person that she put a copyright strike on, that was the person that had her email, um, which her email is kind of available anyway, but maybe it was like her other email or something, but uh, that it was Paige that actually did this. Now, around the time that this allegedly happened, that was when all of those hacks were going on with people's like emails and stuff. And I just think that she really wanted Paige to fit into this narrative of like she's some kind of piece of shit person, which she isn't. Yes, I'm a huge Petty Page fan. But like I said, when I watched her video, I was like, okay, what is she saying here? First of all, she left, um, Jackie had pinned a comment on the video saying, I'm going to disable the comments if people keep name dropping. That was way after everybody already was saying, oh, it's Petty Page, it's Petty Page. And she didn't disable the comments at that point because I had left a comment. And I'm like, who does she think she is? She, she gave, she posted a screenshot of the thumbnail of Paige's video. Um, so of course people are going to find out. And I hate that fake like, oh, don't go and harass anybody or I don't want you to know who this person is. When they give you all of these hints and they pretty much lead you in that direction. I just, you know, either say who it is, name names or don't name them at all. At least try to not be so transparent that you wanted people to send hate her way because she got the hate. She got... She got her Instagram filled with snake emojis. Um, it, it's just really sad. Um, I, oh, I was so upset about this. And what really upset me most of all is that Jackie provided no proof whatsoever. She said in the video that she hired an ex-FBI agent to look into it. Now, if you had seen the video before Jackie deleted it, you could see her blinking and looking all over the place, but in your eyes when she said that. Because it was later revealed that she, in fact, had a subscriber of hers that maybe she claimed to be an ex-FBI agent, I don't know, but a um, an actual subscriber of hers look into it. And I'm sure that she couldn't find anything and she just assumed, oh, well, it's Petty Page. And that, that really bothers me. I mean, so, you know, yes, uh, Page had like whispered her name in a recent video and people are like, yeah, well, you know, she should have known that Jackie was going to call her out because she whispered her name in a video. But that's different. If she wanted to throw some shade at Petty, if she wanted to like clap back a little bit at her, that wouldn't even be an issue. Yes, people that are into the drama would get a big kick out of it. But that wasn't the issue. She legitimately accused her of criminal activity, of fraud, of stealing from her. I mean, you just can't go on the internet and say things like that, especially when you don't have any proof to back it up. And that's what really got me when I watched that video. I was like, wait a minute. Like, she didn't show any receipts. Um, she looked really sketchy as she was sharing some of the information, especially about this supposed um, FBI agent. And... I I just I lost a lot of respect for her. I I waited um until Petty put her video out, Paige put her video out before I wanted to say anything. Um and everything that Paige said totally lines up. The timeline is there. 
and she wasn't even she was not dragging Jackie she said she didn't blame her for it and I think it's because she really believes that Petty would do something like that. Unfortunately, she didn't provide any proof. So people were calling out Jackie. Um, and even after, you know, Paige made this video that totally made sense. And even after um, all of this, people are still believing Jackie. And so Paige said in her video, Listen, you said that you respected Sanders Kennedy, and I do as well. Um, he is an independent party, you know, and I will send him all of my information that you need to try to get to the bottom of this. That way, I have been compliant with everything, and, you know, you can try to figure out, like, what was going on, like, what happened. And not too long after that, Jackie decides to delete the video. She didn't delete the video when Paige started to get a harassment. She didn't really, she didn't delete the video when people were calling her out um, until it got really bad, which was kind of after Paige's video. Until people were like, wait a minute, like this, this is fucked up. So she also didn't delete it until it had over 500,000 views. And that in a nutshell, kind of describes Jackie Ina. Um, I'm disappointed in her. I, I believe that she really thought that maybe Paige had something to do with this, but you don't take this publicly. Like, why didn't she go to the authorities? Where was the evidence? Um, how did they trace this to Paige? Like, what, what is it that this ex-FBI agent found? There were so many unanswered questions, and she never did answer any of them. She did say that uh, she was taking the video down um, because she shouldn't have, she said that this is not an omission of guilt. She said that she thinks that she should have, you know, dealt with it privately and went to the authorities, which is like what I would figure somebody would do way before going on social media to talk about this. You know, that you would alert your uh, alert the authorities, you know, get some evidence, you know, really see what happened. And she didn't do that. Her end conclusion was this must have been her because she saw my email address. Now, people were saying that Petty Page's... Um, fiance does web design therefore he can hack and all this stuff and that's not the same thing and even i know that i know some things about computers and uh it's just it's just absolutely ridiculous that anybody would even say that that he you know just because he has some it experience that he could hack into somebody's banking information you know and it's just ridiculous and so i I felt really, really bad for Paige. I really, and I still do, because people are still believing this nonsense. And really, Jackie owes Petty a video apology, in my opinion. She needs to come clean. She needs to, you know, tell us the truth and say that she just assumed that this was Paige because of the timeline, because that's around the time that she did the copyright strike and that she was wrong. Because, you know, all of a sudden when people talk about like legal action or YouTubers talk about suing each other or scamming each other and stuff, all of a sudden everybody that is a criminal attorney is on Twitter, you know. Oh, well, she can't sue for this and oh, this is defamation or no, this is slander. Oh, this is libel. I mean... Paige put it out there in her video what she would be able to take her to court for. Um, obviously, I'm going to link that video, and I'm going to link an amazing video from T-Spill. She did a video on this and um, brought to light because I remember when Jackie um, had her Sephora account hacked. I remember her posting about that. So she goes in to talk about how Jackie has been hacked before, um, you know, just, just how uh, little proof she had against Paige, you know, and I ended up posting, <laughs> so this is where I kind of got involved a little bit more, 
so I end up posting a tweet because here for the tea like a week ago or so had a poll up on her Twitter page saying like would you guys be cool with or would you guys like what would you think of of it if I collaborated with a beauty influencer which is kind of strange to me that's just my opinion um but um I, so we know that Hair for the Tea is tight with Jackie Ina. She was one of the very few that had Jackie's back whenever the whole giveaway, like, scam thing was going on. And, you know, she, Sam, just really isn't that brutal towards the beauty influencers anymore, especially the ones that she's become friends with, like Jackie and Manny and stuff. Um, I'm going to actually take this little sponge uh, shadow brush that came with a different BH Cosmetics like little mini palette. I really like to put shimmers on with this and I'm going to go into the shade Wicked right here and I'm going to put a little bit of shimmer down. Um, so I, as a joke, went and said, um, maybe I should use my finger because now it's getting stuck to that. Okay. Um, I had said, I tweeted, I guess we got the Here for the Tea Beauty Influencer collaboration. And some people lost their shit because they thought that I was implying that Sam put her up to this video or forced her to make this video. And that wasn't the case at all. And it was just a little shade and it was just a joke. And had I been able to, like, had I been, like, home, I could have clarified that before some people lost their minds. But I was at work, so that was not the case. So by the time I get online, like, people are like, you're making some bold accusations. Like, how much do you really think that Sam has, like, that much influence? And just as a reply to that do I think that Sam has that much influence? Yes. I don't think that she would, she coerced Jackie into making this video. I don't think that she forced her. Do I think that she probably knew about the video before she dropped it? Probably. Do I think they had a conversation about it? Possibly. But I was just making a joke. But to, to, to ask me if I think that Here for the Tea has influence? Yes. Have you seen some of her followers? Like, they are downright nasty. And it doesn't matter because when she calls you out, she calls you out, she waits a while, and then she tells people not to harass you. Luckily, her fans weren't, like, that brutal to me. And some of it was just, like, really ridiculous. Some of it didn't make any sense. And I'm not saying that all here for the tea supporters are like that because clearly that is not the case at all. But... By the time I got home, like, I was texting with a friend of mine, and they were like, oh, you know, I saw um, Here for the Tea, and you had, like, a little back and forth today, and I'm like, what? I'm looking in my notifications, and I don't see anything from her, and I hadn't tagged her or anything like that, so I'm like, I, I don't know what, what you're talking about, because I can't see anything, you know, and I was looking, and sometimes I don't get notifications, um on my phone unless I have like quite a few same with DMs uh, when it comes to Twitter anyway so I was like okay hold on I'm gonna go on the PC and see if I can see anything and I still couldn't so I went to here for the T's page and I was blocked so not only did she get to say all of these things about me I didn't get a chance to defend myself and then she blocked me so a point that she made was that, you know, don't blame this on me. And it was a joke. It was just some shade, you know, like, calm down. Like, I wasn't literally saying, oh, she put this video together and made Jackie do it. No, I wasn't saying that at all. And so I, um, and so when I saw that I was blocked and I couldn't say anything, this is how this turned out so far, um, Oh, I love the shimmers, although I did get a little bit up here, so maybe I'll just blend a little bit of that. There we go. There we go. Okay, and so I, I posted a screenshot that she blocked me, and I said, you know, 
to her point of, first of all, that it was a joke, and to her point of that I'm nice to her in her comments, but I talk shit on her. I say things about her when I feel like it's deserved. Um, I also do leave her comments on her videos when I like them. I've also left a comment on one of her Jeffree Star videos, and I was like, this isn't even tea, you know? <laughs> but if I like her content, I will leave a comment. Like, just because I don't agree with everything that she says or does, maybe, I mean, I don't always agree with her point of view. I think that, um, you know, she, she kind of puts it out there. Like, she she's trying to to be like she's above everything and that she doesn't want anybody to her be harassed and things like that yet in her videos you know she will like put people on blast and then say oh don't harass them like she did with that makeup artist that she said was just trying to get like free stuff from Anastasia Beverly Hills like things like that and I just and and really, so I said, you know, I didn't get a chance to, like, say anything, but I was just joking. Um, I respect her content, like, sometimes. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying all of her videos are, like, amazing, but, you know, when I think that they're good and when I, you know, kind of agree with her, of course I leave a comment because I feel like just because I don't love something that somebody does or all of their shit, um, that doesn't mean that I can't you know, still respect them as a creator and comment when I feel like they have had a good video. So I said I won't comment on her videos anymore because that bothers her. Um, anyway, that was the here for the tea part. If you saw it, I was just joking. You know, it, it really wasn't, it really wasn't anything that deep. Um, it's just kind of like crazy that, that anybody took it like that seriously. But that was the part that involved here for the tea. So where are we left at now? Well, first of all, I'm going to try a new liner <laughs> if I can find it um, by Koki Cosmetics. It is a purple liner. So I'm kind of excited about that. I'll see if it shows up. Well, there's a lot of like colored liners that I end up buying but they really just don't show up that well. So I'm hoping this does. This is the Lasting Drama Waterproof Gel Pencil from Koki Cosmetics here. So, or no, this is the Maybelline. <gasps> oh, I brought down the wrong one. Okay, well, let's see if this Maybelline one works. Let's see here. Ooh, I'm gonna put this on my waterline. It's not bad. I kind of like it. So right now we have Jackie deleting this video. And I mean, really, I, I do think it was kind of an admission of guilt because people are like, you, you can't just, and even some of her hardcore supporters that weren't just jumping on this, like post snake emojis all over Paige's Instagram, um, a lot of them were questioning her, you know, well, what about this? But, well, what about this? And she wasn't giving us any answers. I really actually like this purple. I don't know how well it's showing up on camera. I'm going to go in with the Lilac to Reality highlighter from Wet n Wild. So I'm not sure um, where this is going to go from here. I don't know if um Paige is going to want an apology which I think she deserves um you don't come at somebody with like criminal <laughs> accusations and then just be like oh it never happened oh I deleted the video and that's good enough well no you know especially since Paige and her fiance have jobs where they handle people's sensitive information um it's likely not going to happen, but if they had different work environments, they could be fired. Like, you can't fuck with somebody's livelihood like that. You can't just say something with no proof like that. And my biggest thing was, why didn't she go to the authorities? Like, it just did not make any sense to me whatsoever, you know? 
And I, I don't believe that she had an FB, an ex FBI agent. I'm going to go in with the Smashbox, um, contour trio for a little added color back into my face here. Um, I just think, you know, she wanted, she wanted to be able to get back at Paige because Paige was one of like the first people that like, I think ever really came for Jackie and, and ever really kind of exposed her and ever really made some good points, you know? And I think that she really didn't like that shit. So what could she do? Oh, well, these things sort of line up with each other. So I'll just put this out there, which is so wrong. And I feel so bad for all of like the bullshit that Paige has had to deal with. I just... It's just awful, you know? And do I think Hair for the Tea made her do the video again? No. Do I think that she may have known about it? Maybe. Um, I'm just going to go crazy with some blush today. I'm going to use this one here from the BH Cosmetics palette. Do something very pinky. Um, these are very pigmented and awesome. Like, be very careful. So you guys are going to have to let me know what you think about this whole situation. Um, did you believe Jackie? Did you believe her at first? What do you think of Paige's video? And all of this is just my opinion, but I think that since we don't have any proof that Paige ever even did anything, you know, like innocent until proven guilty, you know, that certainly wasn't the case. I'm going in with this little, um, single shadow. I think it's called sugar from wet and wild to just do a little highlight under my brows. I know my brows are wild and maybe I'll get them done someday soon. Um, so, I mean, all we have to go on is like somebody accusing her and then taking the video down. And then we have Paige who's like, hey, I'll, I'll cooperate. Let's do this. Take me to court or like whatever you need. I'm uh, going into the liquid lipstick from Jeffree Star in the shade Problematic. How fitting. Um, you know, and so Jackie didn't really have a response to that. When she said she wouldn't lie about something like that, I believe her. I believe that somebody tried to or did uh, take money from her. So when she says, I would never lie about something like that, I believe her that she wouldn't lie about that. I just don't think that Paige had anything to do with it, you know? Okay, setting spray. We're going to go in with the Master Fix Maybelline. I like this. I can definitely see a difference with this. Um, so this is the look. I'll have to try to get like a ring light so that the shades show up better because this is actually kind of darker um, purple. But love this palette. Um, I'm feeling the colorful look. I'm going to see my nephew stay and they love when I put like purples and pinks and stuff on my eyes. Um, oh, Koki Cosmetics Mascara. Almost forgot. So yeah, you guys let me know what you think um, about this situation because I am genu genuinely like devastated that Jackie would do that because she was one of the few really big ones that I still had some respect for. I just, it's gone. Especially since she couldn't even admit on Twitter when she took it down, like, hey guys, I, I actually didn't have the proof. Um, I mean, I think that in order for me to have that respect back for her, if I could ever have that respect back for her, she's definitely going to have to do a video apology. Um, and I don't think that Patty Page should just let this slide. I know it's easier to like let things go, but what she said, it can be very damaging to her. And I hope that, you know, she either gets an apology or this gets cleared up. So... Those are my opinions. Um, we may not agree. Please feel free to leave me comments. Tell me what you think. Um, 
yeah, what do you think of this whole situation? And follow me on Twitter if you want to. And uh, yeah, so I will see you guys in the next video, which will be uh, a rant in PJ Pants. I, I think that I have to do a rant. <laughs> so I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. And I'll see you in the next video. Love and hugs. Bye.